this is, you know, as professional a site as you can have. They're able to really be a peer to uh, those big companies. This shows all the strengths of blogging, I think, all in one site. But the one I want to call out the most is that idea at the end here of level the playing field against the big guys. Because we saw what the Contigo site looks like. But let me point you to another site. This is called Al Dente. This is a blog about food and cooking, but it's run by Amazon.com. Now, it doesn't look terribly different from what Contigo's done on their restaurant site. And this is a site done by a multi-billion dollar company. Now, you know, Amazon obviously knows how to measure exactly what people are clicking on, what's going to make them buy a product, what's going to you know, pr provide really good results. And it turns out they're doing this site on TypePad as well. So even the companies that have all the tech expertise in the world and all the budget in the world are using the exact same set of tools that your small business can use. We see this with Coca-Cola. Again, they've got an infinite marketing budget. Now, you can't do what they do in terms of buying a Super Bowl ad or buying billboards everywhere or you know, sponsoring sporting events. But when it comes to blogging, to having a relationship on the web with a, a community of customers or partners that really care about what you're doing, you can be the equal of a Coke, of a, an Amazon, of the biggest companies in the world by just really participating and putting your expertise out there on display. And what you'll get back is some really simple, clear, measurable results. The first thing is you'll be able to grow your sales. If you've got products that you sell online, you're going to show up in search engines for more search terms and higher in the results. And your customers are going to be happy because they're going to have a way to give you feedback or respond or even offer those testimonials through uh, the comments on your site. You're going to save yourself time, right? Because a lot of times you're getting 10 different emails from 10 different people saying, uh, do you have any you know, discounts on this product or what's the, way to, the best way to use this service or have you ever had to deal with this problem before? If a lot of those repetitive questions move out to the blog where they can find it themselves, they're going to be more satisfied because they don't have to wait for a response from you. And you're going to be happier because you're going to have more time to do the things that really set your business apart. One of those key things is going to be using your own personality, using your own tone of voice, because that's the biggest advantage a small business has. There's real people on the other end. You might not know in a giant faceless corporation if there's any humans on the other end that care about what you're doing. You know, or if, you know, if your call was really that important to them, wouldn't it be answered on the first ring? Right? But your company has that ability to make that equivalent of answering that call right away by having a blog that says, we've thought about the things that you care about and we've responded to them. And then, of course, you can just save some money. You know, uh, for the same cost as having a regular website that you have to pay somebody to update that never changes as a result, you can have a blog for just a couple of dollars a month that is really, really simple to update and that offers all of these benefits, even including new features all the time, without any additional costs. And we think a lot about what it costs to reach an audience. If you buy something like Google Ads, what we call cost per click, it costs money each time you reach a new audience member. So, you know, it's great. You can reach a lot of people, but it gets really expensive as that takes off. What we found is that using these tools, you can keep reaching larger and larger audiences, but your costs don't keep going up because you're using what we call social distribution. Your, your audience of customers and visitors and readers is amplifying your message through the rest of the social networking and social websites on the web. And this gets back to that initial point that we talked about, of your message being amplified by your community sharing out with the entire social web. And in fact, at Six Apart, we've really built our business around that idea. So we've created platforms like TypePad that let you publish that message. Millions of bloggers, including the biggest companies in the world and some of the most successful small companies in the world, are using that message to amplify it, what they have to say. They're reaching those 100 million people that read blogs that we talked about at the beginning. And those 100 million people are sharing out to half a billion or more people across the rest of the social web. And it really is one of those cases where we put these tools into practice ourselves, and so we know it works, and it can work for you. So there's a couple tips to get started, and we'll repeat these in a follow-up uh, after the end of this presentation, but just to amplify them. The first tip is use your own domain. Get your company name.com or some variation on it that you can get as your own, what we call domain name, and your blog can live at that address. It's a really important thing because you want to have control over your site. You might see small businesses that you know, say their website is myspace.com slash our company or facebook.com slash our company. 
What that means is you're putting your entire presence on the web in the hands of some other company that you don't control. By having your own domain, you keep control. Next thing is give your visitors a way to have an action that they perform when they come to your site. The email subscription link is one of those best things that you can point out. It's really simple. Everybody understands how it works, and it gives you permission to communicate with them over time. Make sure to incorporate those sharing tools so that people can spread the word to the rest of that social web that we talk about. Uh, in the case of TypePad, it's really automatic. You just check a box, and all those sharing tools can automatically be built in. And don't forget about the offline world. Once you get your blog up and running, put that blog web address on your business cards and the signature of your email. If you hand out flyers or circulars, put it on there so that you're getting people that are um, discovering you in the offline world establishing a relationship with you online as well. If you do have a presence on those other social networks like Facebook or LinkedIn or anything else, MySpace, connect them to your blog and have your blog be the central hub that really uh, forms the, the key point of connection with you so that those other sites are important parts of your presence, but the one that you control, your blog, at your address, is the most important and authoritative source of information for you. And then finally, be shameless about stealing ideas. Look at your competitors. Look at the other sites in your industry, or look at the other ones that are geographically close to you, and see what you like about them. If you have trouble discovering blogs that are interesting or that you can learn from, take a look at our site, blogs.com. It's got all kinds of lists of blogs, top ten lists, uh, organized by category, by industry, by topic, and you can really get some great inspiration from the sites that are out there. So what I'd love to do is take some questions and answers, and what I'll ask you to do is type into the uh, Q&A box that we have there, and uh, Andy and I will help uh, moderate those questions.